ourselves this covenant and there is a responsibility to this you see when you know when you take all your locks you know what you say you say i turn my back on the world i don't care who i look i don't care what you think about me i have gone inside i dwell in my innermost spirit and this is a symbol of respecting mother earth and glorifying God can be some antenna between the two of them. Yeah, yeah. You get me, my brother? Yeah. Respecting Mother Earth and dedicating my life to caring this Mother Earth that I trod upon. And this is my antenna to God. So me no business with you. Whether you're my family, whether you're my anything, me no business with you. Because where me going, you can't carry me. My salvation is not in your hands, it is in the hands of the right. Almighty God. And I, when I go up to the judgment seat, and a two line go up there, a one one. And you're not going to ask me about you, you're going to ask me, surely, what you did do? I have to say, Father, I do this, or I do that, and I have to own up to everything that I do. I may not leave this earth without leaving a legacy. You know, see, if every Rastafari think this way, what is it that I am leaving on the earth? How have I changed the earth to be better? How does my departure leave something for the next generation to carry forward? Right now, you know what we feel like? We feel like we are at the end game of a, of a video. We look like we're living like we are the end of a video game. That's going to just blow up. It's not so. It's not so. We are at the end of a system that's going to change. And the question is, when it comes down, where you are going to die? How many of them are going to go down with Babylon, you know? I chew them no know. A whole leap we are going down with Babylon because what? we wear this, but we're not on it. We wear this, but we're not on it because guess what? It is a perfect covering for a wolf. Perfect covering for a wolf. A perfect covering for a wolf, my youth. You know, see, if you want to rise and walk in a yourself, you have to know yourself. Separate and apart from what has been set up, what has been taught to you, what has been fed to you, what has been put upon your back. Yeah? yeah. And you have to, and the greatest thing, I'm going to show you, come and show you something. The greatest thing, the greatest power is this. Sit here. This is the greatest power we have in this time. We need to understand that now we are living in this present. But the only tool that can carry us forward is the past. What did the ancestors leave for us? You think so they bleed in vain? No. They left something for us. The key is that we have not received it. We are floundering and we are unhappy because we have not received what they left for us. All we saw was the physical. We are, have we harvested the spiritual? Have we actually taken what they sacrificed for? Yeah? We're not doing it. Well, eyes are looking out instead of looking in. We're not going back into the Sankofa and taking the gold that, that is within the earth. Uh, in the earth, them leave it, you know. And we, we're running away from employment. We're running away from the land. We're running away from putting dirt in our fingernails. We're running away from that. Yeah? We're muggling and we're posing. And what are we getting? Nothing. Because guess what? When you play their game, you go by their rules. And you're not going to...